Hi everybody, it's Sarah Cray with Let's Make Art and I teach watercolor. Every week we do a new tutorial and this week we are doing macarons. Ooh, yum. Super yummy. Um, this is just a fun loose project. I know in the other projects for May that we're doing, they're a little bit longer and detailed. So I wanted to have a project in here that was a little bit quicker, a little bit more fun and loose. And, and also, delicious. And delicious. Also, I learned that macaroons are spelled with one O and not two, so. Spelling is relative. Although, I will say that if you look it up on Wikipedia, they said that you can spell it with two O's. Michael, can you confirm that, please? Because Let that's me. what Taylor told me. Let me confirm it. Hold, please. Okay, thank you. Continue. You continue. All right, so we're gonna do this painting in four steps. So our very first step, we're going to make our macaroon shape. We're just gonna repeat that. You guys can choose how many macaroons you wanna do, switch up the colors. Um, step, oh, that would be step two is repeating all of that. Step three, we're going to add the fillings on some of them. And step four, splatters, and then we're done. Sweet. Pretty straightforward. Um, we are using three colors for this project. So our first color is deep blue. Our second color is magenta. And our third color is dandelion yellow. So we're gonna be able to mix a bunch of fun colors using all these three. The supplies I'm using, I'm using our Let's Make Art paintbrushes, round two and around six. Do you think we should keep the Brock and keep? Girl, and, it, is, and it is your life. If you like it, do it. I really like those right, Yeah, Brock and Keenan. These are Brock and Keenan. Yeah. When I switch the paintbrushes again, and then I'll rename them. But I just, right. I didn't have enough time with those names. It's I needed like longer got, names. You didn't, it's not new enough to rename them. They got haircuts. There we go. There. They got they got like a facelift. Facelift or uh, a makeover. They went on like yes, makeover. That's what I'm. That's what I'm looking for. Makeover. Okay. If you have the Princeton round two and round six, that would work fine. Um, the sizes are comparable. I will say that other brands of paintbrushes, though, sometimes their round sizes are off. It's like women's jeans. It's like nothing is the same between brands. I don't know why they make it that way, but that's just what it is. Time it is what it is. Uh, time out. I have the verdict on the macaroon. Macaroon. Yeah. yeah. Uh, macaroons with two O's are a thing, but they are completely right. different. They're coconut right. based. Right. They're a coconut cookie. They're like, they look like little puffs. Yes. Yeah. Well, I knew that. But what I'm saying is I feel like you can spell this kind of cookie with two O's. <laughs> Am I just willing this to be a thing so uh -huh. it doesn't look like I misspelled a, something on thousands of <laughs> sheets of paper? It's fine. It's fine. Maybe these are coconut based. Yeah, maybe I just, <laughs> maybe these are, <laughs> no, they're very different looking. I can't, I can't, I can't do that. Okay. But I appreciate all of the people who commented and told me that I spelled it wrong. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's get to this. So, um, for our, let's do our oath and then we'll do our warm ups and get to painting. So, if you can raise your right hand and repeat after me, I promise to be kind to myself. I promise to be kind to myself. I promise not to compare my work. I promise not to compare my work. And I promise to have fun. And I promise to have fun. Lovely. <laughs> okay. Our warm ups, we're just going to go over um, a couple of things. One of them is splatters. So let's get some splatters going here. To do splatters, you're going to want to use a larger paintbrush because you're going to like hit the water off of the paintbrush. So you would want a paintbrush that holds a lot of water. Um, I'm going to pick up some water here on my brush. Hit it off the side of my cup just like one or two times, not as much as if I was regular painting. And then I'm going to pick up a color, any color I want. I'm going to hold my finger out and I'm going to hit my paintbrush on my finger and it's going to make splatters. Now the harder you do it, the more like directional your line will be. If it's like a softer splat, like a soft hit, like oh, oh, oh dear, then it's like more dispersed and not as directional. Um, so you can use the directional splatters to your advantage in some paintings. I'm sorry, I was falling down the macaroon rabbit hole <laughs> on my phone. That's okay. I'll pay attention now. <laughs> it's okay. Um, so that's what I did for the splatters here. I just switched up the colors. If you want larger splatters, like these really big ones here, 
Then what I do for those is I pick up color first and then I dip my paintbrush in the water, not hitting it off the side of the cup. And then I do like a stab. It helps if you like do a grunt too. Like that. Okay. And that's how you be a professional. <laughs> that's what it looks like to be a professional watercolor painter. Okay, um, and I got splatters all over my mat, so make sure you, uh, you guys don't have anything valuable close by. Michael about died when he saw my MacBook computer after I did some splatters because there was white paint everywhere. And he was like, what yeah, are you, you doing? Yeah, see our whole house. It's like starry, starry night. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. And then the last thing we're going to work on is wet on wet technique, which is one of my favorite techniques. So I'm going to grab some water here, hit my paintbrush off the side of the cup, do any kind of shape. You can do a circle, whatever, whatever you want. And then pick up some paint and drop that paint into the wet area. And it will just spread and move and do all sorts of really cool stuff. You can also drop water into it as well, and that will force the color to move. And that's what we're gonna do for our macaroon shape. So our macaroons are kind of like hamburgers. <laughs> These kind of look like little hamburgers. So you're gonna do like a little hamburger bun. So it's kind of curved. Fun and fact, we're having hamburgers tonight. Oh, we are, Michael makes mm. excellent hamburgers. And then I'm just gonna drop in some color. Look at that. Mm, 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 mm. So that's it. Let's get to painting. You ready? Let's do it. Okay. So one thing I want to say before we start compositionally is you'll notice that I try and stagger my uh, macaroons because if I did a macaroon here, 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 if you do them in a row like lined up horizontal, horizontally or vertically, it's going to create implied lines in your composition, um, which is not a bad thing if you're trying to guide the viewer. Um, and their eye. But for me, I don't want, I don't want to do macaroon, 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 because then the viewer's eye is going to go whoop, and it's just going to go right off my paper. So I try and stagger them. So then it's more of a circular motion or an S shape or something. So then they kind of have to stay within my painting and there's not super something that's like guiding their eye off of it. Um, so just when you're making your macaroons, pay attention to kind of where they're lining up. Um, yeah. That's all I want to say about that. Life is like a box of chocolates. <laughs> also, I'd like to say, and I don't know if I've actually even said this before, but I know some of you do it. Nine by 12 is a large sheet of paper. And sometimes it can be really intimidating looking at this big sheet of paper and being like, I have to fill you up. So if you want to like cut your papers in half or do them smaller, nothing wrong with that. It's much easier to tackle a smaller paper. It doesn't seem as intimidating. Um, and I think actually the macaroons would look really nice on a smaller paper. I'm going to do it on the 9 by 12, but just throwing it out there. Okay. What? <laughs> okay, so I have my round six, and I'm going to start with my first macaroon. So what I'm going to do is um, I think I'm going to keep them this size and just do more of them to fill up my paper instead of doing huge ones. I'm going to try that. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Since I got you, girl. Okay, okay. Yeah, I got you. So I'm going to start in the upper left hand corner. I'm going to do like a hamburger shape. And you don't have to get it in one stroke. You can just like keep on messing with it. And then I'm going to pick up more pink. And you know how macaroons, they have like that crust at the bottom. Do you know what? Mm -hmm. That where it like puffs out a little bit. That's what we're kind of painting here. Do you think it's pronounced macaron? I think it's like macaron, because it's French. <laughs> I think you nailed it. <laughs> All of France loved that. <laughs> okay, so there's the top of my macaron. You'll see here that I leave some white spaces every now and then. Do that. See, see what that does for you. I like doing it because it, I feel like it creates like a glare on my macaron without being like super detailed about form. It just gives it a little bit um, of dimension but it's your painting, so you can do whatever you want. And then I'm gonna do the bottom part, leaving a space. And then just using water, 
And I'm gonna kind of curve out the bottom a little bit more. Look at that cute little macaroon. It's beautiful. That might have gone a little bit too thick, but that's okay. About your little white spot that you left, I found in my very limited painting career that if I don't point out my mistakes to people, I think they think I make them on purpose and it makes me look more talented. Oh, uh, that's very true. Yeah. It's very They're true. Like, oh, look how he artfully did that. <laughs> look at that it's a white space right there. Yeah. It's so good. And if you like, come out hot you. going like, oh, I messed up here though, then that's what people think. Mm -hmm. Just don't mention it to people. Mm-hmm. That works for me too because sometimes people ask, why did you do that? And I'm like, oh. You're like, well, well in college I learned about form. Well, as a professional. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, also, this is my husband, Michael. I didn't introduce him. I'm sorry. Hi, everybody. He's going to tell me where to look cameras and all of that stuff. Also, our newborn son, Arlo, is here, but he's sleeping. You can call him Bill Sr. too if you want. Yeah, that's cute. His first name's William, so I call him Bill Sr. Yeah, it's really funny. Um, usually I wear him, but he was sleeping in his car seat, so sorry that you don't get to see him. He's holding my keys. Okay, next macaroon. I'm going to do like a purpley color, so I'm going to mix my magenta with my deep blue. And then depending on how much purple or how much blue you mix into it will give you different purple looks. If you do a little bit of blue, you're going to get this really pretty, mostly pink purple. And then if you keep adding blue, it's going to just make it more and more of a purple. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Somebody said I should get a shirt that says, does that make sense? Because I say it a lot. I'm down. I would totally wear that. Okay, next macaroon. I'm going to do it over here. Yeah, I'll do it over here. I should say, get me food. Does that make sense? <laughs> Feed me. Feed me. Does that make sense? <laughs> I'm doing a curve and there's like you guys can see I'm kind of approaching this macaroon painting it different ways like you don't have to do this cookie shape one way like in one stroke or start with the bottom and curve on the top like I like to actually try different ways as I'm painting to get different um, effects so they're all a little bit different I'd say that first one's a brioche and this one's a Kaiser yeah but those are breads <laughs> Keep calling them hamburgers. I'm just, I'm furthering that analogy. Oh, I get it. I get it. The type of bun. Yeah. That was funny. Thank you. Sorry, I didn't get it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I portrayed it incorrectly. <laughs> okay, then we're going to leave a white space and do the bottom. What are you laughing about? I'm just laughing at these little macaroon shapes. Now I'm seeing like aliens. I'm seeing helmets. Aliens? I don't know. I'm very tired. I can see helmets for sure, but you know what they remind me of is a South Park Canadian. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't know what I'm talking about, all you llamas. Google it real quick. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to do another yellow. I'm going to do a yellow one right here. Now, one thing I want to point out is this purple one is bigger than my pink. That doesn't really bother me, but as you're painting, if you notice that one is bigger, you can make a decision where you can be like, okay, I want to stay within these couple of sizes so it doesn't feel too crazy. Or you can go the opposite direction where you're like, maybe this is a party with all different size macaroons. If you want to embrace true French cooking, they should be uniform. They should. Making macaroons is hard. All French cooking is hard. They're intense. I've never tried it. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Macaroons aren't my favorite kind of cookie. We did have some in France that were delicious, though. Did we? I, I assume so. It all blurred <laughs> There's too many croissants. I do remember one time having a really great macaroon, but I can't remember where it was. I was croissant drunk. Oh, I ate so many croissants. You were mostly butter. I was all butter that trip. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to do our yellow one. I'm going to kind of stagger it so it's in between these two. Yeah, I think one morning I ate five... <laughs> oh my gosh. I regret nothing. It was my favorite part about going. It's all I think about now. It's so funny because like I ate a ton of croissants too, but the thing I remember are those little baguettes with ham and cheese. That's what mm, I miss the most. Those were good. But those, that's just not, I, I, just the croissants were so buttery and flaky. <laughs> okay. So there's my yellow. Um, I don't know why that purple one is cracking me up. Okay, I think I'm gonna do another one over here to kind of like 
form to my paper. I want you to draw a smiley face under those now. It just looks like a... <laughs> like that looks those. like an eye and a mouth, doesn't it? Like a half pumpkin, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I people can tell when we film around lunch because we just talk about food so much. I'm so hungry. Can you tell we're hungry? <laughs> Although Michael did make a glorious breakfast for me this morning, so... Okay, this one I'm gonna do kind of like orange and I'm gonna put it over here. Again, if you're following this example exactly, you don't have to do this. It's your life, you guys can do whatever you want. And I'm gonna try and make these a little bit flatter because I feel like my purple one especially got really puffy, which isn't bad. Macaroons come in all different shapes, I feel, depending on who's baking them. Or spelling them. Or spelling them. <laughs> That was funny. Thank you. And then I'm going to do the bottom. I'm going to drop in a little extra color for like the crispy edge. So I'm just kind of dotting in that color. You know a macaroon that I enjoyed was Ella French's macaroon. Speaking of French, a different French, Ella. One of my best friends. Her name is Ella French. Yes, that she was the macaroon mean, yeah, I liked. She makes a mean macaroon. Yes. She's a phenomenal uh, baker. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had a bake good that Ella made that I wasn't just thrilled about. Oh, now I'm thinking of all of the yummy things she makes. They think we're obsessed with them because we named our eldest daughter Ella. And um, her husband's name is William. And our baby's name is William. And so it just... Do you want to hear one more thing about her? Fun fact. Yeah. Her name is Ella May. French, so her first two names are LMA. And then our let's make art. When you say LMA, it's <laughs> LMA. <laughs> you are obsessed. Listen, she's a really wonderful person. I get it. Okay, so now I'm going to do like uh, this color, which is a combination of the magenta and the yellow, but with more pink than yellow. So the orange is kind of an even amount of both, where this one is definitely more pink. Yes. And again, I'm trying to go a little bit flatter. I am very chatty today, but I just have to bring up, I watch you recreate paintings all the time, and I'm always impressed that you get them close again, but the thing I'm most impressed is that you match colors so closely. Mm. That's so hard for me to do. Yes, colors, colors are hard. Um, we've been thinking about doing like a more in-depth series on color theory because it's a beast. It's just one video and you say, don't mess up. It's one video and I'm like, just do it right. Google it. Google it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh gosh, I love that bloom that happened right there. Do you see that? Yeah, that's a good one. It's so good. Okay, now I'm gonna do like a green one. So I'm gonna mix a little bit of my dandelion with my blue. And this is gonna kind of turn like a pistachio green which is perfect because pistachio is 100% a macaron flavor. Do you like how I keep saying macaron? I love the little R rolls. <laughs> I'm, I'm not usually good at R rolls. I'm really proud of myself that I can do it a little bit. You're proud of yourself. <laughs> so proud. Oh, <laughs> oh that's a little curve, curve. So a half circle, kind of shallow half circle. So we're on step two, if you guys are counting. This is us repeating this macaroon shape. But really, we're just hanging out, having fun. Really, I'm having a great time. <laughs> She's croissant drunk again. Yeah, yeah. The I'm croissants think, of God. I'm thinking about croissants of friends. I'm thinking about my friends Ella's baked goods. Mm. <sighs> LMA, that's so funny. I know, isn't that funny? And also, she has a brother named Sam. And I almost, I really wanted to name Arlo Sam because I love that name. But then I'm like, too much, Sarah. <laughs> that is too much of that. Did the petition to change your name to Ella go through or <laughs> is that still pending? And I'm like, I'm going to just start dyeing my hair red. Yeah. She has really long red hair. It's gorgeous. <laughs> uh, I hope she watches this. Me too. She better watch it. We're Friend, best friends. Friendship test. <laughs> friendship test. Let's see if she supports me. <laughs> you can 
take so much of this out if you Chris want. Chris is editing it. Chris, go ahead and take all this oh, out. Oh, that's right. That's right. Chris, you can make the decisions on what you keep because I am talking an awful lot. Although I will say I feel like I'm kind of funny right now. I think you're always funny. <laughs> funny looking. <laughs> that's what my dad used to say to me. That's where you got your great self-confidence from. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, blue. We're doing just straight blue now. Drop in, leave some white spaces, grab some extra color, do the crispy edge. But if you were a baker, how cute would it be <clears throat> to make some macaroons and then paint little macaroons on the tag that you give to someone. Uh, it's just an idea. That's like, that's cute. And then you tie it, <clears throat> you put it in a mailbox, and you address it to Sarah Cray, 210 North Davis Street, Hamilton, Missouri, 64644, and I will eat those macaroons. That's the store, not our house, you creeps. Yeah, yeah, that's the store address, don't worry. <laughs> and also, I'm not... Uh, Biased. I would take any baked goods. It doesn't have to be macaroons. You're not discriminatory. That's the word I'm looking for. Thank you. You are biased towards Ella French. <laughs> she's, a, she's a wonderful person. Okay, I'm going to mix a little bit more blue into my purple to make it a different shade of purple than what I already have on my paper. And I'm going to do one down over here. Oh, that's a good color. That's like Michael's favorite color that right there. That is my favorite color. And Green, right? That's what you're talking about? <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. Drop in. I just, all I see are hamburger buns now and it's cracking me up. I will say that multicolored hamburgers makes me just as happy as the French cookie, so. You can make colored hamburger buns tonight. Would that be good? I don't think it would taste any different. Really? Yeah, you just drop food coloring in the dough. Our girls would love that. Let's do it. All right. Blood red? Yeah. <laughs> just kidding. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to do a more pinky purple. So I'm just going to add a little bit of blue into this purple that I'm doing down here. And I'm going to try and make it more square. Because, like, why not? Let's just see what that looks like. And it, you can paint these with just water first if you want and then drop in the color. You don't have to paint um, the color right away. It just depends on how much um, blooms or different textures you want. But I can tell just from looking at this one that I painted that with water first and then dropped in the color. And it got a really gorgeous effect. So it's up to you guys. This, is, this project is just good technique practice. It is. Do whatever you want. Okay, now I've done most of this. Now I need to look at my painting and be like, okay, what do I have to do to adjust to this? So I'm gonna put one, I'm gonna do more up here and I'm gonna do more down here and then I'll do the splatters. Um, or another option is I could also trim my paper. That's actually why I like working on nine by 12 is because then if something is slightly off compositionally, I just trim it down. You can always go smaller, but you can't ever go bigger. Yeah. Okay, what color? I feel like I need like a warm color down here since I have blues and purples and greens. So let's do another, let's do like a warmer yellow than that. This is gonna be a little bit closer. Drop in some color. That one's a real hamburger. I'm just looking at this. Now the reason why I moved it closer to this one instead of moving it out over here is because then this would have lined up with a third one here. So I wanted to kind of mess up this line that I had going here. But it does feel a little bit more squished down here. So maybe what I'll do is I'll do one up here 
Let's just see what that does. And I'm just gonna do like a light orange on this one. Just mixing more colors. I feel like I have a special power because I usually request that the community paints these a certain way, like the duck with the neck tattoos, which was so funny. So funny. I want someone to take the Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs theme and have macaroons raining from a cloud. <gasps> yeah. Yes, with neck tattoos. <laughs> Michael and I still talk, talk about that duck with neck tattoos. So funny. We were listening to Post Malone in the car last night. We and were. I was laughing because I was imagining the duck right. So we can think about now. Okay, so I really like this light pink one that I added on top. I think I actually might add some up here. Just cause. Why not? Uh, what color should I do? Michael, tell me a color. Mm -hmm. Emerald. Emerald. What is blue green? Do a blue green. Like oh, a like a turquoise? Yeah. Okay. That's a good idea. So I have my green. I'm gonna just mix a little bit more blue in there. Ooh, it's like a mint color. That's really pretty. Nailed it. One of my great joys as a parent, this is so funny, because our kids wake up so much earlier than us. And they usually like watch shows in the morning before we get up. And I went upstairs and our little Ella is watching a, a cooking show. She is. I think that's so funny. She's she, eight years old. She does love cooking shows. Okay. I think I'm gonna call this good. I feel like I could possibly add more to the edges, but I think the splatters will actually fill up those spaces. Because what I'm afraid of is if I add one here, I'll then have to add one here, which will make me want to add one here. It reminds me of that book, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I'm just gonna like pause for a second and add some splatters, and I think that that would fill up where it's feeling a little bit empty. So you already have the colors that you used mixed on your tray, so then you can just go through and splatter them. So we're now on, oh no, we're not ready for splatters. We're ready for the middle. Let me do the middle first. Okay, you do the middle. So um, some macaroons have a darker colored creamy center. Some of them have a lighter color or white. So you guys can leave some of these white if you want. Um, I'm gonna put a color on some of them. So this one I'm gonna put like an orange middle. They don't have to match either. Um, basically, I'll do it on the ones where the spaces are a little bit bigger. Because then I feel like you would be able to see it. Maybe on that first pink one. Let me do this one down here. And I'm trying to leave a little bit of a white line in between, just so people know that there are different um, things, different edges. And maybe I'll do this blue. I'm gonna do another layer to darken that. And I'm gonna do this green, and then I think I'm gonna call that good. Call it great. Do yourself or, a favor. Um, and if it's easier for you, use a round two since these are thin lines. Sorry. What did you say, my dear? I said don't call it good, call it great. Oh yeah. Then I'm gonna call this great. <laughs> With a rolled R. With a rolled R. Okay, uh, maybe that one too. There we go. That was step three. Or maybe paint a bunch of macarons and then paint a real hamburger in the middle. Do like a brown, like patty. Just kind of throw everyone off. But Who doesn't love macarons and burgers? I eat it. Okay. Now I'm gonna do some splatters. So I'm just gonna pick up some color, put my finger out and boop. Kind of go across. And I wanna do a mixture of colors but you guys can decide that because this is your painting, it's your world, maybe you only want one. And 
I'm going to do some blue. And now I feel like I need the bigger splatters. I got my small splatters. Now let's get some bigger ones going on. So I pick up the paint, grab some water, and watch out. Let's do some yellow. If you don't want it so directional, then you wouldn't be doing it, you wouldn't be moving your arm, you would just be going straight up and down. So it would be like, let me get some blue. There we go. Now these look like flying Flying in the air hamburger macaroons. <laughs> Unidentified flying macaroons. <laughs> and I'm going to do some bigger pink ones, and then I think we're good. So big pink ones, get some water, and wha, wha. Yeah, that's those splatters really. And the reason why I like adding splatters is because if you're painting like an illustration like this, and it just feels empty, and you're like, oh, I don't want to just keep on adding macaroons. Doing washes, doing these little textures, things like that, it fills in the space without um, changing the composition. So I really like messing with those kinds of things. And I think my favorite little macaroon is this guy right here. It's just, I just love that color. I love how yeah. that turned out. What about you, Michael? Um, my eye keeps going to the top purple one. This one? Uh, sorry, delay. Yes, that one. That's a good one. It also is the biggest one. Maybe that's why. <laughs> the mint green one is a good addition. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so that's our macaroon, macaron project. Um, takeaways from today. Have fun with this one. Just like let loose and play. This is really a time for you guys to like um, kind of recover from the peony. Peony? Peony? Peony. Because uh, that one was really detailed and had a lot of <laughs> layers. So I just wanted to give you guys something fun to play around with. So have fun. Let loose. Don't get too attached to this. It's just a piece of paper. If they're not coming out how you want them to, literally the worst thing that can happen is you take this piece of paper and you throw it in the trash. That's the worst thing. Not a big deal. And um, I just want to give you guys permissions to play. And last takeaway is macaroons is spelled with one O. <laughs> so there you go. All right. Um, if you need any of these supplies, you can find them at letsmakeart.com. If you would like to share your project, I would love to see it. We have a wonderful Facebook community called Let's Make Art Watercolor. It's very large, but it's a wonderful supportive place if you feel nervous maybe posting your artwork to your own accounts or you know sharing that you're starting this new hobby. There are a lot of different levels in there, so don't get intimidated. Everybody starts somewhere. And usually that idea um, that people are just born with this skill is perpetuated because when people are starting out, they usually don't share their work or they usually don't post their fails. And so I feel like if we really celebrate every part of this journey of creating a new hobby, we'll recognize that a lot of this just comes with practice and time. And nobody, well, very few people are born with the ability to paint something amazing right away without practicing. So in order to get rid of that idea, let's post. Let's just share what we're doing wherever we at, wherever we are at, and wherever we're at is right where we need to be, and it's okay, and you'll get better if you just keep on doing it. That's how it works. So, um, that was a long spiel. Well, you can also tag us on Instagram at Let's Go Make Art or hashtag Let's Make Art. And again, if you need any of these fun things, you can go to our website. That's all I'm gonna say. Had fun with you guys. Bye. <laughs> Bye.